In this tutorial you will learn about basic styling of vector layers. You can find link to sample data in video description. Add life expectancy vector layer. Select EPSG4326 for coordinate reference system. The shape file contained within the zip file is now loaded and you can see the default style applied to it. Open attribute table. To style a layer, we must select an attribute that contains values we want to represent on the map. Since we want to create a layer representing life expectancy, the field life XPCT is the attribute we want to use for styling. The various styling options are located in the style tab of the properties dialog. There are five available style options, single symbol, categorized, graduated, rule based and point displacement. We will explore the first three in this tutorial. Select single symbol. This option allows you to choose a single style that will be applied to all features of the layer. Select the dotted pattern fill and click OK. You can see that this single symbol style isn't useful for representing the life expectancy data. Explore other styling options. This time choose categorized from the style tab. Categorized means that the features in the layer will be shown in different color shades based on attribute field values. Choose life XPCT value as the column. Select blues color ramp and click classify. Click OK. You can see different countries appearing in shades of blue. Lighter shades represent lower life expectancy and darker shades represent higher life expectancy. Graduated symbology type allows you to split the data in unique classes and choose a different style for each class. We will classify our life expectancy data into three classes, low, medium and high. Select Life XPCT column and enter three classes. There are five modes available. These modes use different statistical algorithms to break down the data into separate classes. Equal interval. As the name suggests, this method will create classes that occupy intervals of the same size. Quantile. This method will create the classes so that number of values in each class is the same. Natural breaks. This algorithm tries to find natural groupings of data to create classes. The resulting classes will be such that there will be maximum variance between individual classes and least variance within each class. Standard deviation. This method will calculate the mean of the data, and create classes based on standard deviation from the mean. Pretty breaks. This is based on the statistical package R pretty algorithm. It creates class boundaries that are round numbers. To keep things simple, let's use the quantile method. Click classify at the bottom and you will see three classes show up with their corresponding values. You will see a map showing countries in three colors representing average life expectancy in the country. You can click on the symbol for each of the classes and choose a different style. We will choose red yellow and green fill colors to indicate low medium and high life expectancy. Back in the layer properties dialog, you can click on the label column next to each value and enter the text that you want to display. Similarly, you may click on the range column to edit the selected ranges. We need your help to continue making free video tutorials. Please subscribe to our channel or share this video.